Green, blue, yellow, red. Yeah. High five, bro. High five. Bro. Here he goes. Welcome back. What about the rest? The rest. Welcome back. Yes, Craig. And you are. Did you say I build with bricks? Yeah. Wow. Speaking of I build with bricks, I want to thank you guys so much for going over and checking out his channel and subscribing. I just checked here this morning and he is almost at 400 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Going from 10 yesterday. You guys are really awesome and I know he really appreciates it. In fact, he made a thank you video, which we watched together and it was just a really nice video. And if you guys haven't checked out I build with bricks' channel, I'm going to put a link down below again here today. Let's get the guy to 500 subscribers. What do you want to build today? I was thinking since we did the service station in the last video, why don't we do the thing that everyone else voted for? It's what do you think about this one? Look, it's a moon. What do we have here? Me finger. So yeah, if you guys go back a few days, I did a vote on which set you guys want to see build, which was the service station or the space shuttle. A lot of people voted for the service station, which is why we did that one. But there's still a ton of people that want to see the space shuttle built, and that's what we're going to do today. Four this is set number 40, titled Space Shuttle Explorer, 285 pieces. This is a three-in-one build, so not only can you build the shuttle, but you can build a space station and a rover, which is making this set just completely awesome in my book. If you spin this around, you can see all of the fun stuff you can do with this. There is only one downside to this set, and that downside is that there's only one minifigure with this, so this might not keep someone busy for very long. But nonetheless, we're going to open this up and build it up for you guys here today. Wow, he has given up on the service station. I didn't think I would see this day. And that reminds me, I had a lot of people say they want to see the B model from the service station build, and we are going to build that up for you guys. Maybe we'll try to do that tomorrow, but I can't make any guarantees. It's a day-to-day -day thing here, it really is. Ready to open it up? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> there it goes. Let me get the shot. Oh, I don't know if I got it. I think I did. You ready to get the shot, buddy? Yeah. All right. There's everything that came out of here. We've got folded manuals of course but i think i can fix that and we got a couple bags here one two three four five bags lots of color surprisingly for a space shuttle build especially these orange wheels in here that is awesome i guess they're not technically wheels but close enough for me what do you think's in the bag that clark man has in his hands right now always very particular about the bag that he chooses and you can see why mm -hmm. let's get into all this here again my manuals are folded in half which you guys know other than stickers that's my only thing with lego it's like just Put a piece of cardboard behind there, please. I ask in every one of my videos, just one little tiny piece of cardboard behind here would have solved all my problems, but we'll make do with that. Again, this is a three-in-one build, which of course, we're gonna build the primary model today, which is this space shuttle. And now we're gonna get into all these bags, which don't appear to be numbered, so we're just gonna open all these up at once. There's that one. There's that one. How about dad does these small ones just so we keep all the pieces together? I'm not that crazy. There's some pieces in this bag you're gonna want. No way, way. <laughs> While Clark Man goes on minifigure recon, I'll give you some background on this set, at least in my personal history. I've liked this ever since it came out. I finally what? His hat. His hat? Um, right here. Space hat. There's a space hat. So this went down in price and I scooped it up when I had a chance. Oh, okay, we'll be right back. We are back, and as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. I've always liked this set because of the three builds that you can make out of it, but I've watched videos here on YouTube where people have done alternate builds, which are really great too. So I feel like there's a lot to do with this set, and I'm excited to share that with you. His space glasses. His space glasses? Right there is his space glasses. Space glasses, face that. You're welcome. Let's see you build this guy up. Do you know how to put that on? Yep. Now what are you looking for? That one. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, his wrench. Ta -da! Oh, wow. Show it to the camera. It's a new number about the spaceship. Can you hold it up for like more than one second? Ta -da! <laughs> Hopefully, you guys got that. Check. Clark, once again, proving that you are a serious builder when you are on the table. You guys have been watching for a while, know that Lego Crater is my favorite theme, and this set is the perfect example why. There's so much value here with not only the three builds you can make right out of the box, but with all of the alternate builds that are available on YouTube. You could literally buy one Lego set and just keep building and building and building forever. Well, maybe not forever, but you can definitely get your money's worth out of this, and that's a big deal for me. So, that is my commercial for Lego Crater. Lego, if you're watching this, you can send my check to the P.O. box that is down in the 
description below this. And on that note, we are gonna build the astronaut's backpack. Let me find the pieces here. You guys probably wanna see all the pieces out of this, out of the bags, so we'll give you a quick fly over here. That of course didn't come with this, but everything else did that's over here. Nice mix of pieces again. Got two faces. Ah. Oh wow. Ah. Man, I just wanted to point out that he has two faces. He has this kind of scared face, and then one that I'm gonna say is uh, determined since he's an astronaut. And the other one is my pack pack. Yep, I'm gonna build the pack pack right now. We'll get him all decked out in his space outfit. Isn't that cool? Here's our finished astronaut. I'm gonna try to show you his backpack and everything because I see the hand coming in already. So there he is, and that's all you get. Now that Clark Mann's minifigure is built, we are moving on to the space shuttle portion of this build, which is gonna be the rest of it. I'm not sure if he's gonna be sticking around for this whole thing because there's no more minifigures coming out of here. Is there something going on with your shirt? What happened to your arm? A Lego piece. <laughs> there was a Lego piece up your sleeve? Yeah. You might actually be a magician. Can you make the Millennium Falcon appear in your sleeve? Nope, not in there. I was about to show you this, but uh, we lost some pieces, boys. That counts. Looks like it survived the drop. <laughs> How does this even happen? Ow! You okay? Yeah. Did you get the piece? Yes! Alright! Let's see the piece that dropped. Awesome, dude. Good recovery. Two Grinches! Grinches? They're wrenches. Two Grinches. You're a mean one. Grinch. Mr. Grinch. I don't know how I'm supposed to work in these conditions. I miss you, Dad. Oh, I miss you too. Uh oh, uh oh, big hug, big hug, big hug, big hug. As I'm building this, I'm realizing building a space shuttle really isn't that interesting to show on video, but here is what I have so far. I'm on step 21. How many steps did we go to here? 89 is the final step, so I'm about, what, maybe a quarter of the way in or so? I'm gonna show my friends, okay? I'll be right back. He has a wheel. Wow, so cool. Thanks. Here is where we're at on the space shuttle. I'm on step 35, so about a third of the way through. Clark's on the octane again today. <laughs> this fake burp thing is Clark's <laughs> new thing right now. I'm hoping this is just a phase. Sometimes when I'm editing, I think about the people that are watching these videos, and I just wonder what they think. Like, I am subscribed to a lot of LEGO channels. I don't know if I've ever watched one where their kid's fake burping into the camera. And I don't know what I'd think if I did see that. I'd just be like, that's kind of weird. But the truth is, this video to me is about more than just building a space shuttle. It's about this time in my life that I'm having right now with Clark, who is never gonna be this age again. And I think it's gonna be really fun to look back on someday, to make fun of him as he's fake burping on the camera when he was three years old. You know, I'm just really thankful to have these videos, honestly. Again, quick update, we kind of got this side done. This side's the next thing to get finished. Mm -hmm. Clark Man has a snack, so he's jamming right now. But I think I may have just found the coolest instruction that I've ever seen in a Lego manual. Check this step out. So you're putting this on the top here, and it says, click. It's all popped out like it's a comic book, which I thought was really cool. Don't do Octan, kids. It's all done. I'm done. Yeah. Check that out, dude. Thanks. I put my finger in there. I knew it. I'll show it to you guys in a second. Let's let him have his glory for a moment here. Otherwise, he would just be reaching for it the whole time. Mm. Oh, done. Yeah. It's done. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Maybe we can show some of the features while you have it. That way you're not reaching for it. So that opens up inside there. He has the minifigure up here already. Here's a look at the back with those orange pieces in there. I love the way that looks. There's the bottom of it. This might be the way we can actually review some sets. Just like Clark hold on to him while I explain it. Clarkzilla got distracted with snacks, so I might have a chance to show this to you in a little better detail now. So here is our space shuttle from the outside. And as you saw a little bit there, this actually opens up in the center area and that's what it looks like in there. But once you get inside there, you can put that piece up. I think I'm probably better off showing this on the table. So this piece comes up like that, and then you take this out, which is also stored in there. You pop the sides out, and that goes on top like this. And you can kind of flex that around however you want, which I thought was really cool. So a nice play feature there. These things kind of spin in the back. I don't know if they're supposed to or not. And then, of course, you can seal that back up. It's a pretty tight fit seal in it but I think it works really well, especially if you're going into space. So once again, I'm gonna donate another Lego set to science and see how it holds up. Probably not very well, I imagine. I always like seeing how long it is till we have our first break. Can you close it? 
You're pulling down. You want to put that away? See, watch. All right, so this just comes off. That just comes off like that, and you can fold that up in there. And then this goes in the back like that, and now you can close it. And again, and these are kind of tight, but there you go. Do you like that set? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, Way to go.